Hello, Cancer. Welcome to Sidekick Tarot. I'm Ryan, and thank you for being here. This is going to be a general reading, so everything may not resonate. Take what does and leave the rest. And for more tarot readings after this, go ahead and check out my wife's channel at Val53 Tarot. She's with you as well. Thank you. I'll be starting by pulling your current or overall energy. And then we'll be going into clarifiers. Okay, I'll get the cards out first, and then I'll begin. Right away, there was the message of beginning to slowly emotionally disconnect from someone. Possibly feeling like someone is disconnecting from you. Either or, you know, it could be vice versa, but. Ah, geez, or possibly you. That's how it's like, it's almost like you wanted to make that clear. <laughs> you wanted, you, yeah, you wanted clarity. And I believe that's what I said to you yesterday. So you're kind of throwing it back at me like, well, actually, it's like, well, I do appreciate the directness. So jumping into this cap. Oh, wow. I was going to say Capricorn. Maybe you were, de wow. Maybe you were dealing with a Capricorn. No. Cancer. Um, wow. Who's, who's wanting to just throw out the energy Capricorn today? It's a little bit of an interruption. Um, someone's trying to make a scene. What is going on? But jumping into this Cancer, what you're showing me, <laughs> like what? You're definitely listening to your instincts. Now, whatever is going on, I do see you're wanting to be very fair and neutral regarding some type of endeavor that is beginning to kind of take its toll on you energetically. But there is quite a bit of success and accomplishment here that you've done for yourself. Overall, I kind of like this card. You are having some sort of breakthrough and realization here in some type of truth. Whatever this is, it also is, in a sense, making things right and creating a sense of balance and kind of harmony. This is nice. But at the same time, you're also showing me that, well... It's not necessarily that nice because it's creating a lot of anxiety and a lot of stress because it is kind of pointing out some sort of financial issues or possibly romantic issues between you and someone. I don't exactly know what is going on, but at the same time, I feel like this is regarding your work and career. Ultimately, whatever this is, you're saying that it's slowly heartbreaking. So in a sense, you're halfway choosing to acknowledge the pain and the difficulty as well as the emotions and the thoughts and you're kind of i'm going to say it you're kind of throwing yourself into work uh, but at the same time i feel like whatever this is you're kind of like nah that's just my choice i'm going to kind of i'll heal in my own time i'll go through that process when i'm fully ready but if there is something here you're kind of like no 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 you're, you're kind of like sh you're trying to like shake some sort of emotions and feelings off energetically speaking and that's what's fascinating. It's like, no, yeah, just let it roll off my shoulder. We'll, we'll, let it roll off me. It's like, mm, we'll see. But let's go ahead and jump into clarifiers and we'll see what we can find. It's almost like you, Cancer, are brushing yourself off and not taking yourself seriously. That's self-abandonment. Let's see. You're guarded. You are very guarded. Um, you're not even too sure whether or not you want to communicate or say anything or anything should be said or shouldn't be said. And it's like, well, um, that, that's an ex that, yeah. You're, what you're saying is you're, what's that called? You're leaning on the side of, uh, geez, what is that saying? Can't recall. 
You're just being extremely cautious. Very cautious. Yeah, yeah, and that's exactly right. So, <laughs> wow, Cancer, you're showing me these instincts. These instincts. Um, whatever the going on with the situation, you, you're, you're pretty much, what's fascinating though, is whatever this breakthrough realization is, it's got you thinking very independently, very singularly. Um, it's kind of like, mm, I'm gonna stand by myself. My, I'm gonna look out, in a sense, I'm gonna look out for numero uno. I don't know why I like saying that one in Spanish, but I do. Reminds me of the game Uno. You try to get rid of as many cards as you can. <laughs> um, you are showing me five people, six, but today's about you, Cancer. Wow. Yeah, the air is definitely being cleared up about people. That is for sure. Um, I, Goodness, I feel like you're finding out who you can trust and who you can't trust. And it's almost like, would you rather have someone be very cold, direct, and blunt? Or would you rather have someone be like, mm, I don't know, mm, I don't know, mm, I don't know. Mm, well, we can see. Well, hmm, it's like, just get to the point. Just get to the point. When you ask a very direct question and you get a very <laughs> roundabout answer, it's like something's suspicious, something's off. Yeah, you, you know, you know though. You know, and that's what's very upsetting. But you're kind of like, mm, there it is. It's just a, it's a slow process. Like I said, it's a slow process. It's kind of having to settle and sink in. Yeah. Um, goodness. You're, you're having the realization that you might have to go your own way. You're, it's like, whatever these problems and these issues are, um, I do see that there is some type of consideration of like, okay, okay. You're showing me, though, a resistance to this. It's like whatever this communication is or has taken place, um, it's like you're you're showing me it's like, okay, I will, but I don't want to. I, it's like you almost feel like you have to. It's a necessity, whether it's for yourself or, you know, because of others. I'm not too sure exactly. Um, you know, I kind of get the, the, the scenario literally just based off the picture. You know, someone that's like waving waving goodbye to someone on a boat when they're about to leave for a trip or they're about to go on a new adventure or embark on something new for themselves. Um, and it's kind of like they keep turning around and it's like, you know, they're trying to hold their tears in and hold back. And it's like, this is the direction life is taking us. This is the course of your life. This is a new beginning. This is a new journey. It's like, there's so much more to look forward to. And yes, it's difficult to, you know, look back and feel those emotions and have all those thoughts and have all those memories and be like, but all of that. And it's like, yeah, but turn around, look at all of that as well. Sometimes we are meant to cross paths with people in life just for a moment, just for a season, just for experiences and lessons and possibly, you know, karmic ties. And yeah, it's very difficult to break that cord, but sometimes it's necessary. It's kind of like when a parent has to cut the cord with their child or their children. They don't want to do it, but they feel like it might be necessary because everyone's kind of, you know, everyone's got to grow up sometime. Everyone's got to go out there, be independent, be on their own and live their life and make something out of themselves. Yeah, you're showing me. It's like, but the great unknown, I don't know what's out there. Isn't that exciting to go find out? Isn't that exciting to go find out? You're like, I just don't know. I just don't know. I just don't know. And it's like. Well, you're not going to know. That's why it's called the great unknown. <laughs> Life's an adventure. 
It's what you make it. Even though it sounds cheesy and corny, but. Yeah, you, you definitely, I, I get that. You. It's hard to move forward from the past when there is a past and so much has been kind of aired out and cleared up. Um, you're showing me that you definitely want to work on family, like family ties. And that's exactly like I was saying, the appropriateness of the message I gave. I feel like you are working on something here, but I'm not too sure exactly what this is. I feel like you got ideas in mind. And there it is. There it is. You're like, but I still want what I still want. I still want who I want. I want to be with who I want to be with. Okay. You're like, I just, I just want everything to be okay. And I just want everything to work out. But again, that's where I kind of throw it back at you, Cancer. If that were the case... You're emotionally walking away and cutting ties at the end of this. I get that. With Aries on top of the deck, by the way. Not to jump forward, but there was a card that flipped over. I wanted to just straighten it out. It was communication. Yeah. You're saying you're going to keep your distance, but you are still going to, in a sense, fight from afar. Okay. You want things to work out. Of course, though, because you are, we do have showing up as signs, as I showed you. Aries on top of the deck, sitting there watching, listening. We also have, well, Libra, Pisces. And that is all. Goodbye.